Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be another tag and this is going to be the guilty reader tag so without further ado let's dive right into the questions. Question number one is have you ever re-gifted a book you were given? No but I have given them away to the charity shop and regretted it. Question number two have you ever said you've read a book when you actually haven't? No um, I don't see the point in that. Um, how how do you get new recommendations if that happens? I'd rather tell someone that no, I hadn't either heard of the book or read it and then let them tell me about it. Let them tell me why they enjoyed it because it might help me um, find a new book to enjoy myself. Question number three, have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Many years ago, about 18 years ago now, and I, 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 I still feel guilty about it now. I don't even know what happened to the book that I borrowed, um, but it certainly didn't go back to its owner. I think it ended up in a charity bag. Question number four, have you ever read a series out of order? Yes, um, with the Dark Tower series by Stephen King, I started on book four. And then there's a Atlantis series by Bob Mayer. Um, I read book number three. Um, so yes, yeah, so I have read series out of order. Uh, but if I realise what I've done, then I do go back and read the previous books and read through um, again uh, to to get the backstory and, and fill in the gaps in my knowledge. Question number five. Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? I try not to. Um, and I try very hard. If you've watched any of my wrap up videos uh, you'll probably notice that when I talk about the books I really only talk about what you can glean from the synopsis and this is because I don't want to spoil it for anyone um, I don't want people to to then potentially be reading a book and then realize that I've told them what happens at the end um, so no I do my absolute best not to and if I have ever done that for anyone I do apologize for it question number six have you ever dog-eared a book not since I was a child um since pre-teens pre-leaving primary school um i can remember using bookmarks but i do know that i have dog-eared books in the past especially when i haven't got anything to hand that i can use as a bookmark at that point i try not to do it now as an adult i try to always as soon as i pick a book off my shelf i always put a bookmark in it so that i am never without one question number seven have you ever said you own a book that you don't no, never. I have never said that. Again, like saying that you've read a book when you haven't, I don't see the point in that. Um, my family pretty much know what books I've got on my shelves. They're quite free to come and look at my shelves. Um, it, they don't buy books for my Kindle anyway. They would give me gift cards, so I would buy them. So no, I'd, I'd never say I've got a book when I don't. Question number eight, have you ever denied reading a book? Again, I don't see the point in doing that. Um, if you've read it, talk about it. If you didn't like it, tell someone why you didn't like it. There's no need to deny reading books. If you... <laughs> I don't get it. I know there's a stigma around romance and that a lot of people will not admit to reading romance novels um, because they think that people are going to sneer at them. But you know what? The way to combat that is to talk about reading them. Um, yes, so don't don't deny it. Get on with it. Question number nine, have you ever skipped a chapter or section of a book? Yes, uh, Fellowship of the Ring, I pretty much skim read the first half of that book until they get to Bree because it bores me and I have started skipping the section with the Barrow Whites and Tom Bombadil. Um, I pretty much tend to do it on rereading rather than um, first reads. So, but yes, it is something I've done um, purely just to because I know it's a boring bit and I just need to get through it. And question number 10, have you ever badmouthed the book you actually liked? No. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I read Fifty Shades of Grey and I admit I enjoyed the plot. Um, however, I don't think they're the best executed books. Now, that's not me badmouthing it when I've liked it. That's me saying that I've liked a part of it. I just didn't like the rest of it that went with it. Um, but yeah, I, I, again, I don't see the point. Something that you've liked about a book, 
might trigger someone else to go and read it. So why deny that you've enjoyed it? Um, and and did I and potentially deny someone else the pleasure as well? Um, there are a lot of people that liked Fifty Shades of Grey. There are a lot of people like me um, that Fifty Shades of Grey came to them at a time when they needed something like that to draw them into reading. There's a lot of women that have been drawn into reading and reading romance um, because they read Fifty Shades of Grey. So why deny it? Why, why say that you haven't read something when you clearly have? That was the guilty reader tag. I don't think I'm actually that guilty of very much. So I, I'm, I'm quite good at that. Um, as always, I tag all of you to do it. I will leave the questions in the description box down below. Uh, so go ahead and have a look and do it for yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. I put videos up every Monday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.